Good morning, guys. We have a leak. We have a leak. Yeah. Okay, we got a leak. Got a leak from our fan again. Uh, yeah, I can see where it's coming from. Look, a drop, two drops, and there's more on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna be fixing the leak on the roof. However, we first need to wait for it to stop raining. Okay, today's the day. We're finally getting on the roof. Apparently, it's not going to rain until two o'clock. So basically, what happened is the maxi fan started leaking a few weeks ago. We tried to just patch it up. We went up. We thought we found the hole. We put more sealant on the roof. We even put some sealant inside as well to just if there is a leak to slow it down but that patch up job didn't work so now we're heading to the roof i hate getting on the roof like this <laughs> i got you guys i got you i'm not gonna drop you okay okay we need to clean this ah okay 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 uh may i have the alcohol Oh, oh that, that, that's a microfiber. Okay. Okay. That's too many cloves. It's not that dirty. So we're just giving this a clean so we can maybe spot easier if there is a hole. Well, there is a hole somewhere. I just don't know where. I want to see it could be coming from anywhere because any of these ridges could be basically an air pocket. And also from the inside, this is where it looks like the leak is coming from. But the trick is. Although the leak is seeming like it's coming from here, because we've put sealant on the wooden frame inside, both on both sides, so towards the insulation and towards the fan, we've covered any, uh, any and all of the gaps that we, we could uh, think of to try and slow down the water or stop it completely. What could actually be happening is there could be a tiny gap, a minuscule gap, anywhere around this perimeter, and then as the water goes in, it gets trapped in, in this canal underneath here that we've created. And then it travels until it finds the weakest point. So I was thinking, after I've cleaned, we should get the hose out. Well, it doesn't seem like a gap, but it does seem loose. So like I can pull it and probably rip it apart. It's just tiniest, tiniest specks that I have to guess whether they're whole or not. See all of that, all of that is weak. I can just literally, I'm putting the tiniest pressure. I'm not trying to peel it back. I'm literally just rubbing my finger lightly. Look at that. You see that? Have you found it? I, I am touching a screw. So that's the, the shiny thing is the screw head. And you see the shape of the screw and then I think I can even touch the plastic here. I think that the darkest line there is actually the, the hole. But again, if there was that big of a hole all the time, then it would have leaked all the time. I just don't know. I, th I, guess, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. We just need to... Uh, Pop it up. Okay, so we need to try and simulate rain. So I'm gonna go hole by hole, and um, then Sam is gonna tell us from the inside whether anything's happening. So is there any dripping now? No. Okay, I've sprayed this one. Anything? No. Thing is, you're, so you're spraying near the front, right? Yeah. So, so it has to make its way all the way down here if that is the leak. Well, spray quite a lot of water. Simulate a heavy rainstorm. I can hear a lot of water running, but I don't see or feel any. Can you disturb the um, area with your finger? I am. Um, it's becoming more damp, but it's, it's not. Becoming more damp. Yeah, but it's not dripping. So something must be entering anyway. Yeah, or it's just residual water from last night. Okay, well, we've left it for five minutes. This is definitely damp wood now all the way down to here. If I lift that up. Yeah, more water's coming. Oh, focus. Is it dripping? No, but more water is coming out. I feel it with my finger. It's not dripping, though. But you can see it's definitely damp in there now. It's making its way down, obviously, but yeah. that doesn't help us identify exactly which hole. No, it does not. Because it takes too long. Yeah. 
but you can see the discoloration in the wood that area of wood is damp but the rest even though we sprayed all around the frame the rest of the sealant and the wood is perfectly dry just up there is the problem okay I'm up we got this thing guys it's a um, flash band self adhesive flashing tape but I think it's used on roofs yeah like for roofing things I think it's uh, a smaller version of what that gray stuff is there I think that's actually metal yeah but it serves the same purpose it's like something between a butyl tape and sealant and tar. tar we can treat this whole thing is basically leak risky and puts tape all around the perimeter but I was thinking we should maybe put sealant here anyway because yeah. we know that the gaps just in case all right let's put sealant there okay so I've put sealant actually all around just to redo the this this inner edge just in case and now we're just gonna wait for it to dry so yeah now we're just waiting for, for, for the sealant to dry hopefully it's not gonna take that long because yeah. um, <laughs> we don't have a lot of time no it's 9 30 the rain's coming mm -hmm. at 2 um, yeah. I mean, this says its bond stick is immediate, so we shouldn't have to wait for this to waterproof itself. But yeah. <sighs> you know, to me, the leak is just kind of routine maintenance. Mm. It's not that much of a problem, especially since we haven't completed our ceiling. You know, if we if we hit close up our ceiling, we're gonna have to now repair our ceiling. Yeah, and we don't even have to do that. When you cut a hole in your house. It, some leakage is expected eventually mm. um, and, yeah, it, no, and the only thing waterproofing this is uh, <laughs> some some goop some goop some goop yeah. which we may or may not have applied relatively well or not at all <laughs> who knows but it has been a year and the fan has not leaked uh, so, so that, oh yeah it's only started leaking this last week so I would assume that basically it, it just needs maintenance it just needs to be yeah. reapplied or we can we're gonna try something maybe hopefully a bit more durable yeah so this is like household maintenance for me mm. this, is, this is van life this, this is van not the van build this, this is the van life van life maintenance <laughs> and again it would be nice to have everything just done and then everything start to wear out at the same time oh yeah like, like, like just snap your fingers the Van's van the, 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 the whole van <laughs> is complete and you just walk into you just walk into it and you start basically wearing away everything at the same time yeah you know and that and that way you know i guess everything will start breaking at the same time and then you're yeah. like oh my god i have all of these these things but i mean it's like okay so we've done the back door cladding now that's mm -hmm. painted the fabric is up you know and then it's going to take us x amount of months to complete the rest of the van in the meantime those back doors will start wearing out with general wear and tear so it's like they'll yeah. probably need repainting or the windowsills that we're doing now or have done like they'll need repainting eventually but then again that's the same as this that's just maintenance yeah actually you know what it reminds me of what you get a new car everything is fine everything works the tires are new the brakes are new the engine is new you don't dare touch it yeah <laughs> and then over time you replace bits and pieces if you buy a 20 year old car you replace a brand new exhaust and then the next month the battery goes can, can, can things just stay no no they can't no, no. No, it's fine. As long as it stops leaking, because it, it, it is le leaking enough that it's sort of like um, <laughs> creating small puddles uh, yeah. when, when, there's, when there's like proper rain and stuff. Have to put a cloth down. Does it say how long it's going to take to dry? No, I think we've checked this about 20 times. I know, but it still astonishes me that it doesn't even give you an estimate. Like, nope. Within this temperature, it's been tested to dry this quickly. Yeah, tack free time, 30 minutes approximate, rate of cure, 3 millimeters per 24 hours. What? The rate what, what, of, what's tack free time where you can touch it and it doesn't come off on your face oh right okay i say we wait at least an hour and see what it's like then hi hi captain okie dokie so we're back up and it's been about two hours so this is now no longer coming off and it and it's fine so it's been curing for about two hours so it should be okay so now we're gonna be testing out this tape yep what we're gonna do first is um uh, I want to scuff this section a little bit, so not the sealant, not here, but j j just the uh, the van paint here, just to scuff it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, not much, but just a little bit more than that. 
you want now? And this will just give it a better adhesion. Adhesion? Is that a word? Adhesion. adhesion. So now that we've uh, sanded it down, in order to get a good stick, we need to clean the surface of as much stuff as it's possible to, or dust, oil, grease. So we're just using alcohol. We're gonna clean. Now the instructions say that it's best that the surface is a little bit warm and that this is being kept in the warm as well. Now thankfully today it's not too cold, but we also got the heat gun so, so we can just warm up the general area. This reminds me of sound deadening days. enough. Doesn't have to be hot, it just needs to be warm. Yes. Alright. And this should grab immediately. Right, so you're just down. Gently. So if you start gonna press. with that bit. So it says use finger pressure. To get it moulded. Then we need to go down here. Yeah. And, and then, then proceed oops. that downwards. I can tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. This tape does not cooperate. It does what it wants to do. So again, we dip down. The problem is that this sort of dip then shortens, then it moves that that way. Yeah, I it's know. Really it takes it inwards. Yeah, but I need to get that molded in there. Yeah, that's it's like it doesn't matter if there's a pocket here. No. It's this that matters here. Yeah. I mean, I suppose I could put another piece of tape well, that's right what over I was there. Thinking, cutting a tiny piece of tape over these, especially here on the front. Because if you yeah. imagine as we're driving along, this is the area that's going to get bombarded with rain and dirt and everything. My fingers are going to hurt after this. Oh, yeah. Ow. There you go. Wonderful. Nice flat area to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> It never happened. <laughs> yeah, so now we're just using the roller to uh, give it a little bit more molding, hopefully. We're just gonna do the, the thing with the uh, patch. Just, so it's a 25 mil, mil overlap, so... That seems about good. So if you start with one side. Yeah. And then gently travel down apparently this can be painted so if we if we don't like this patchwork yeah we can cover it but at the moment I don't care I want it functional and I can deal with the aesthetics later and again like this white sealant here this stuff is UV protectant frost protectant because it's meant to be installed outside on roofs in all weather conditions not particularly van roofs but let, let's see how we can adapt this. <laughs> see it's all it about works. adaptivity. Adapt and, it, and it certainly sticks. It certainly sticks. Oh yeah. I and mean, once... <laughs> within, within, within 10 seconds, it was already hard to remove, so... Yeah. And it's supposed to grow stronger with time, especially with as the roof heats up. Because roofs heat up a lot, and probably yeah. it's based on that logic. So the tape is on, so we have re-waterproofed the fan, and Sam is just going around and pressing all the edges uh, for a bit, you know, extra security. Uh, we're going to leave any updates on this leakage in the pinned comment in the comment section, and we're also going to link this uh, tape in the description below. So um, yeah, wish us luck. Uh, hopefully we will not have another our fan is leaking video, uh, because we hope that this works. This tape is supposed to last significantly longer, because it's like supposed to go on houses. Um, Yes, this is on the van, so maybe half its life expectancy, maybe five years. 
I don't want my fan leaking for five years. So yeah, thank you for joining us today. A uh, huge thank you to all of our Patreons uh, who are absolute stars. Thank you so much for, for supporting the, this channel. If you would like to be a Patreon, then uh, you can find the link down in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us today and subscribe for this van conversion and you know, the van life, which involves coming back on the roof to be waterproofy fan. I'm really hungry. I'm having a baguette today. It's so exciting, you know. I'm gonna have a lot of onion, uh, uh, on onion and ham, and yeah, yeah, I oh, and, and boiled egg. It's amazing. Yeah, you should try it. I recommend it. I mean, if you're a vegetarian, it's actually really good with sweet sweet potato. Are you done up there? I'm hungry.